So my name is Peter Martinez. I am the business development manager and I want to welcome you all to the call. We're very excited to have this duo of products um, in one webinar and it's going to be on the Lamiderm Skin Serum and the Omnia. And the subject is what is your hair, skin and nails telling you? So we're going to dive in with Yana our nutritionist uh, for Life Farm. This is our second North American uh, webinar with uh, Jamaica, Trinidad, Mexico, the Philippines, and Canada. So we're so excited to learn about this uh, skin, nails, hair duo that we're going to learn a little bit more about. So Yana, thank you very much for um, doing another webinar for our customers. We really appreciate it, and we're happy to get you started here. Well, thank you, Peter, for such a warm welcome. I'm very, very happy to be here and continue educating, educating everybody about uh, different aspects of nutrition and our body and, of course, uh, life form products because they're giving so much uh, to, to the health, to body, and today we will talk more about skin, hair, and nails. And of course, like always, I will be happy to answer your questions. Please answer, put your question in the chat. I will not, this time I will not stop the lecture for questions. Uh, we will just go through the presentation. We'll talk about everything. And in the end, I will come to the chat and I will answer all your questions. Hope that will work for you. So let's dive in about anti-age strategies, about health, of skin, hair, and nails. We will talk more about what is this, what is skin, what's hair, what's nails, and I will give you some tips and tricks what you can do today, what you can start doing right this moment, right tonight or tomorrow to improve the health of your skin, hair, and nails. And of course, we'll talk about more about products. We'll talk a lot about Omnia, what's inside, and Lamader and how they work together, what you can do, how, why this product works so great together to improve the health of your skin, hair, and nails. So in the beginning, I will tell a couple words about me. I'm, I have a certification in nutritional, I'm a nutritional consultant. I am, I've graduated Bauman College with honors. And already over 10 years are working with people with different health conditions. I give lectures and seminar in person here in Colorado, where I live, or online all over the world in English and in Russian. I'm almost done with my master's degree from a university in Oregon on human nutrition and functional medicine. I'm creating different products and uh, different programs and educated people on the healthy lifestyle. I have, like I said, I live in Colorado and I have three kids. My oldest uh, child is uh, diagnosed with autism. That's what brought me to nutrition lifestyle. So today we will talk about skin issues, different skin condition. It's aging, of course, everybody, Concern about aging, about wrinkles. I'm 45. I'm totally on top of this topic. Uh, age spots, acne, eczema. And I see that a lot. I see it more and more, especially in kids. Uh, of course, sunburn and different kind of dry, itchy skin, skin and different skin conditions. Hair loss. I have a lot of clients coming with a hair loss, especially after those who had some COVID symptoms or COVID diagnosis, hair loss dandruff, dry hair, uh, chemical damage, all the coloring of the, of the hair, and of course, bald spots. And different nail issues. Nails also showing a lot, telling you a lot about the health, and we'll talk about this. And brittle nails, uh, peeling nails, different white spots, painful cuticles, dry skin around nails. This is all concerning, and this is all this is something that can be addressed. And of course, we'll starting with the biology crush course. So let's talk about the skin first. Skin has three different layers. As you see, this is the top layer at the dermis. This is like a roof. It's helping protect against different injuries, mechanical, thermal, physical injuries. So it's protection, it's the roof, and it's like covering everything. 
course, it's keeping moisture and making new skin cells. Dermis, you see it's right in the middle. This is the house. Things are happening there. There's like family living and a lot of action. As you see even in the picture, so much happening in dermis and uh, giving us sensation. It uh, transport nutrients. So uh, production of the hair and sweat. So a lot of things happening in the house in the dermis. And hypodermis is the base layer. You see it's in, in more yellowish. It's the base, it's more fatty layer. It's like a cushion to the skin and it's connecting skin to muscle and bones. And this is where um, there is a storage of energy there. Skin is the organ. A lot of people don't know what skin is. It's, it's an organ and it's the largest organ of our body and it's very, it's absorbable organ. There are different studies giving different percentage, how it's absorbed somewhere from like 60 to 100%. We know definitely uh, some areas has 100% of absorption. So whatever you put on the skin or environment you're around, everything skin is absorbing. Let's understand what skin aging is, what's happening to the skin when it's aged. So here are two graphics, there is young skin and an aged skin. So you see there is, decrease. of course, we're losing collagen. We are gaining collagen about before 20 and after 20, we start losing collagen. And after 40, we have very small amount of collagen in the skin and it's really decreasing pretty dramatically after 40 years old. So you see the less collagen and there is a flattering of the layers. You see each layer of the skin getting smaller and more flatter. And of course, some pigmentation and skin wrinkles and different, uh, different color of the hair. So this is what's happening to the skin as it age. Hair, I will not go to deep anatomy of hair. I just want you to understand that the hair, the health of the hair come within. So it's right here inside the hair follicles. It's all feeding inside the skin. So whatever you see outside the skin, so out beyond the epidermis, beyond the roof. So all the feeding, everything is happening there in the house. So everything what out of the house goes out of the roof, it's pretty much dead cells. So the point is that if you want to have a healthy hair, it has to be fed within inside, not just mask. It's, it's important, but the real health of the hair come within inside. The same is with the nails. That's why we can cut hair and we can cut nails because it's mostly dead skin. So the health of nails also inside, goes inside, work inside. What is stem cell? Stem cells, and we will talk about stem cells. You will hear me saying stem cells and I want you to understand this is like a baby cells. They're in their preschool, in their kindergarten, there's like area you will see now, I'll show you the area the body where this stem cell sitting in their preschool and waiting to grow up and waiting for them to become somebody, some kind of, um, some kind of tissue, some kind of, um, some kind of organ, part of some kind of organ. So create. So the main purpose of the stem cell. So they are baby cells that will grow into something to repair or grow of becoming a new tissue, to be a part of new tissue, to be cell of a new tissue. So we always need stem cells. They need to be ready. They have to be nice, beautiful babies, fed and groomed. So these little babies will grow into nice and healthy cells. And of course, here you see this is a little preschool where they sitting and waiting for their turn to become some some kind of cell cells. So um, hair, skin, nails, they always need the stem cells to be repaired, to grow, to become a new cell. So when I have a patient coming to me, I really I always ask them to come without makeup, without uh, nail polish, and I really like to see people's, I always checking people's uh, skin color, um, 
uh, their nails, the health of their nails, always ask questions about nails, about their hair, because they are first to show any kind of deficiency, any kind of health problem. Of course, it's not 100%, but usually if something happening to, to the body and the body cannot already fight it inside, it starts showing on the skin, nail, nail and hair. I have to make sure you understand that it's not happening suddenly. Some patient coming and saying, suddenly I got this rash. Suddenly my skin, my uh, skin got dull or my um, nails were fine and then suddenly they were not fine. It means there is a problem sitting inside the body for a long time and body cannot fight it anymore. And it's like showing, sending the signal of help, the SOS signal, please help by giving us this sign of something is wrong. So that's why all this problem, all these issues with hair, skin, and nails, usually there are messages on the body. So the body is asking you for help. What is body saying us? Let's see. Mouth ulcers and cracks, especially in the corners of the mouth. And you see it's a lot, um, especially during the winter time. And it's usually when people start eating less fruits and vegetables, and usually it's showing the deficiency of in the B vitamin group. And this is the group that people are lacking, especially during the winter, but especially during the winter, we need it a lot. Bleeding gums and easy bruising. And that will show, again, not 100%, but usually this is the sign of deficiency in vitamin C. Of course, scurvy is not an often case. Now people are eating some vitamin C somewhere and some uh, products are uh, added vitamin C, but still deficiency can be showed as fast as one month. And it will go into bleeding gums and easy bruising. Poor wound healing. It's when you're getting some kind of wounds or getting some kind of injury and it's not healing well or not healing fast enough. And that's will show usually that's the sign that there is some kind of protein deficiency or people very long time on some kind of diet uh, that that in excluding some macronutrient, vitamin C deficiency and C deficiency, zinc deficiency. Here is the study I put the uh, vitamin A. Vitamin A is extremely important vitamin because it's uh, participating in the thing called cell differenti differentiation. It's a vitamin D is a vitamin A helping the assign the roles to the cell. So when some cells are existing, vitamin A, a participating in assigning where this cell is going, uh, this cell is going and what it will become. So here you see already atopic dermatitis, and this is the red, the back of the red shaved, of course. And this is the red with the already with, with the dermatitis. This is the red with vitamin A in the diet, and this is without vitamin A in the diet. So the role of vitamin A is huge to heal the skin, to help to build up the new skin. And here how it's worsened, the dermatitis worsened without vitamin D in the diet. Alopecia areata, if you know the bald uh, part, part of, the, of the hair, it could happen around the hair, it could happen anywhere on the hair. Uh, sometimes it's getting uh, on the eyebrows or on the lashes. This is actually a picture of my daughter who was diagnosed with alopecia areata three years ago. And this is the progress we were doing. The first picture is about two months in the treatment. The second is about half a year. And the third picture is about a year into treatment. Now she has the beautiful thick hair and you will never see that she was one time was diagnosed with alopecia. And I really did a lot of research on this, um, this condition. And that's the basic principle how I treated her. Uh, it was a um, very high amount of vitamin D and she had vitamin D deficiency. And a lot of studies show alopecia areata people has vitamin D deficiency, uh, low zinc, 
um, also a low antioxidant, vitamin A, vitamin C, so a lot of protein, the uh, fruits and vegetables. And of course, we worked a lot with the leaky gut because that leaky gut and the gut health is very much connected to the uh, skin, hair, and nails. Also nails, let's see what the health, what different signals of health uh, but body is sending it by changing the nails, nail health. So uh, horizontal nail, the horizontal line due to horizontal depression on the nail usually giving the indication of protein or zinc or both deficiency. White spot, it could be spots, it could be line. It's usually not one spot. It's usually a lot of spots on the nails or very often very fine lines, white lines on the nails. Uh, it's giving the indication of zinc deficiency and long-term zinc deficiency. Thin nails that like spoon-like shape nails, that indicator of iron deficiency and long, uh, uh, long vertical nails, it's uh, iron, calcium, and zinc deficiency. And in general, if I see, I don't see particular indication, but if I see weak, thin, and brittle nails, uh, it's, it's telling me that person uh, malnourished, or I see it in women who did a lot of um, different diets, not eating, um, sometimes in vegans also. So I see malnutrition of, uh, or lacking some kind of nutrient, macronutrient from the diet, protein deficiency, of course, and deficiency of the iron, zinc, calcium, magnesium, vitamin B group, vitamin D. So what can you do today to help your hair, skin, and nails? One of the most important message I want you to give, I want you to get today is that for, for the body, for the body in general, hair, skin, and nails are not very important organs. For the body, uh, things like brain, heart, the life uh, organs, they are more important. So if you give a little bit of nutrition, a little bit of vitamin and mineral to the body, they will start using this vitamin and mineral for the most important organs for the health of heart, brain, immune system, GI, and so on. It's like if you're doing the home, if you bought, bought like for example, an old house that need a lot of repairs and you have very limited budget, you will put this money towards most important. You will change plumbing, you will fix the roof, you will fix the like walls, you will fix the most important things and things like vases and frame picture frames they are like okay well, one day we'll do that the body will be the same if you do it a little bit it will give the nutrients to the most and protein to the most important organs for body hair nails and skin it's like this picture frames and vases okay whatever whatever if something left we'll put it there but if you have unlimited budget for your house then you will do everything, plumbing, the plumbing and um, roof and the vases and the nice curtains and all kind of nice stuff. The body is the same. If you want a good health of skin, hair and nail, you have to give enough of the nutrients so body will have it enough for the vital organs and for hair, skin and nails. So the most important is protein, amino acids, protein, they're building blocks. And I see that the protein deficiency is very quickly in people because their skin is thin, it's very dry, pale, cold, their hair is more dry, falling out, hair, brittle nails. So I, the protein deficiency can be seen very quickly. And of course, the next question, how much is enough of protein in the diet? So usually I advise people to have about two gram per kilogram of body weight. That's the best, especially for women after 40. Uh, some active women who has, and male of course, for, for uh, because in my practice, mostly women, that's why sometimes saying just women. So for those who are having more active life, uh, who work out a lot, do hiking a lot, especially here in Colorado, I have a lot of hikers, patients. 
So for those, these people can go up to three, three and a half gram per kilogram of the body of protein intake per day. Of course, collagen. Collagen is very, this is the study showing how important collagen is for hydration, for reducing of wrinkle is the collagen in the diet. So how we can, where we can find protein and collagen in the, in the diet. First is the bone broth, high, good quality bone broth made from the high quality bones. Chicken, especially chicken um, neck, chicken neck, also chicken feet. The, the broth from the chicken feet, it has a ton of collagen. Fish and shellfish, especially um, different, like head of the fish that also has a lot of collagen. Egg whites, I would not say egg yolk is bad. Egg yolk is fantastic food, it's really, really important food and very nutrition food. But egg yolks contain proline that are uh, helping to body to produce uh, collagen. Beans, beans will give not just amino acids for the pro uh, production of collagen, but it's also will give just protein as a building blocks to you. And awful meat, so it's a, it's different. It's a um, liver, it's kidney. It's not something uh, popular in American diet. Definitely popular in Russian diet. But this this kind of meat contain a lot of vitamin and minerals to nourish body and nourish your skin. So extremely important to keep your skin out of the sun. And you will see in this study, here is the young skin that were not exposed to sun very much and old skin that was not exposed to sun. And this is young skin with sun exposure and old skin with the sun exposure. And you see the old skin becoming thinner, it's becoming more rigid, is not absorbing that much nutrients. So it's really damaging the skin integrity, skin surface. And that's why it's very, very important to use sunscreen, especially from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So strategies for anti-wrinkle for the healthy skin. What can you do today? First of all, of course, alcohol and cigarettes, they're really damaging skin a lot. Herbal tea, drink a lot of tea, a lot of nutri a lot of water to give the moisture and give this water to the cells. Neck exercise, a couple times a day, a lot of muscles in the face connected to the neck. And a lot of people don't know if you want to nice, nice um, muscle in the, uh, to exercise muscle in the face, like we exercise other muscle, you can exercise muscle in the face. Most important to exercise muscle in the neck because neck is holding this face muscle. So make, just watch, when you're watching TV, just sit and stretch your neck. Just make sure you're doing all kinds of exercise. Just move your neck. Do, do all kinds of different exercise to make sure your neck is moving and the muscles are working. Don't use hot water to wash your face. It's damaging and also it's too much for it's very damaging for the skin. A lot of healthy fat, avocado, sardine. Uh, it's extremely important to give this good healthy fat to the skin. Cells. We were talking about this more in Omega-3 lecture. If you didn't, but you didn't come to this lecture, please on YouTube, a lecture about Omega-3, please listen to that. It's a, I've talked a lot about cells there. Also don't use any harsh soap, any perfume. Perfume is chemicals. And actually some people calling it smoking of 21st century perfumes. They damaging not just for the skin and it's actually for the, for the immune system as well. Hydrate your skin with the mineral water spray. Also, you can do um, a different ice cube from the mineral water and put it on the face. It's really, really good for the skin. And of course, like I said, last year, last month, we were talking about omega-3 supplements. It's a great thing to add to your regime for the health of your skin. Kefir, homemade kefir, it's a great thing to help your skin from within to help the intestinal health and also uh, microbiome diversity. 
but the homemade kefir you not only drink you also take and you put it on the skin to that to have a, my, the skin microbiome diversity because one of the uh, aging sign that will lose this diversity of the skin microbiome and this homemade kefir mask really helping to diverse and make sure your skin microbiome is healthy because it's also participate in health in the skin aging what can you do also for the uh, healthy hair? It's not just hair, of course, it's helping with the other, with the uh, skin and with the nails, but mostly for the hair. Seaweeds, antioxidant, iodine, beans, legumes, uh, meat, it's iron, and also, of course, amino acid, collagen, B vitamins, we talked about this, it's very important, B vitamins. Um, zinc, I said zinc like already, probably 20 times during this presentation, how important it is. Uh, oysters has a ton of zinc and also antioxidant. Uh, sweet potatoes, carrots, they are helping uh, fight, fight this free radicals that aging the skin cells. And of course, different herbs, it's a green tea extract, nettle. We use a lot of nettle in Russia, it's, it's a really, Thing for everything and you can drink it as a tea but you also can uh, put it on the hair after you wash it scalp massage so to remember i showed you this graph that everything is happening inside in the house in the skin where the hair the health of the hair depend on what's happening inside so these nutrients are very very important for the uh, skin of hair or for the health of hair and nails but to bring this nutrient you need a blood, you need a blood flow. So you need a healthy blood flow. And that's where the scalp massage is helping when you're bringing this blood flow. And it's again, very easy to do every time when you're sitting in the traffic light, um, not when you're driving, but when you're sitting in your hands or somebody driving you or when you're watching TV, when you're doing something where you don't need much attention, just take your hair, just put your hands inside and just massage it, make sure you really penetrate fingers in the scalp and just massage it as much as you can just to make the skin the scalp hair, uh, skin move also you what you can do you can just take the the hair in your hand and really 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 i don't look pretty like that so but really 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 move it around like that and make sure i'm totally mess up my hair but make sure you do it on the side, in the front, in the back. So do it all over the hair. I will not destroy the pieces, the last pieces of my hair do. So I will not do it all over, but make sure you do it all over to really increase this blood flow. Um, vitamin E for the nail health. This, uh, this is a liquid vitamin E and mostly it's helping right now if you really need it now and you have problem with the cuticles or your skin around your nails are pretty dry. This is something you can help to boost this nutrient to the nail and moisturize it around, especially with the dry, painful cuticles. You can just put uh, a drops, couple drops on your nails and just before going to bed, really massage this vitamin D E. But I need to uh, tell you that if you take care of your health and you take care of the health within, like we will talk, we talk right now about diet and we will talk about only a little bit more. If you take care and, um, and prevent all this nutrient deficiency inside the body, then you would not need it. So you can use it for like, couple of weeks until you build up the deficiency in your diet using uh, pro uh, using the diet and using omnia, then you would not even need it. So it's mostly emergency if you need it right now. And of course, eat the rainbow. Antioxidant, they are helping to fight this free radicals that damage the skin, damage the skin cells. So antioxidant is extremely important. And the more uh, colorful your plate will be, the better it will be for your health. Before I will talk more about product, I have to uh, show this study because there are a lot of, I have a lot of patients coming to me and say, oh, that's easy. There are so many supplements. 
in in all kind of stores and it say skin hair nails and I'll just get it and you have to be careful because this kind of vitamins they're not regulated well and they're it's very easy to overdose and also quality um of this of this uh, supplements of the nutrients in the supplement might be not good and in the best case scenario they will not do anything sometimes they can harm you so there is a, some kind of risk taking um, a, a vitamin, uh, taking this kind of supplement from retail stores without um, checking without regulation. That's why I always advise to take supplements to help skin, hair, and nails from the reliable source. And that's where we will start talking about Omnia. What is that? How Omnia can help? help you what can it bring to enhance all your other efforts with diet first of all given quality collagen collagen have to be high quality because there are some collagen on the market and they are not really good and there are again a lot of research about this collagen giving you this volume of the skin and the hydration it's giving that remember we saw this um, chart with the aging skin, the collagen is disappearing and we really need it. And here is the study I put that the uh, collagen, the uh, dietary collagen and um, supplemental collagen is really helping to improve skin hydration, brightness, uh, co-feed the small wrinkles and pores. Uh, collagen is really helping as fast as some, some studies say four weeks. I put here a uh, study with eight weeks. Uh, hyaluronic acid, it's a great body's moisture. It's helping with this dry skin and of course with the fine wrinkles. And here is again the study that showing that hyaluronic acid and amino acid, they're really helping this the, you will you see it on the face. It's becoming more moisture. It's, it's holding this moisture. It's becoming younger skin. Spirulina. I love love spirulina. It's a great antioxidant, and this is algae that contains so much, and it's really good. So it has antioxidant, vitamin B, whole B, vitamin B group. It has. Um, protein and it's just giving so much and here is the uh here is the study that help the show how spirulina can help against ultraviolet beams again like i talked you, you remember the chart when i say how you have to protect the skin from the uh, sun here is the control unprotected skin and here is people taking spirulina and look how much the more they were taking the more uh secure and more protected their skin were and here is the reacted oxygen species the one that damaging the skin the cells and that you can see the skin that has a lot of ultraviolet beams and a lot of reacting oxygen species as a result of it and you see this is the skin without ultraviolet exposure this is the control group with the exposure and you see Vitamin C is a great antioxidant, also gave almost the level of not exposed skin. And here is the spirulina also gave a great, great result. Great seed extract. I love that stuff that it's also give moisture and recover, help uh, skin to recover from sun damage. And again, here is the chart. I love charts. Here is the chart. And this is, this is the white, you see the low, is a control a skin, uh, unprotected skin. And this is the protection, the higher protection with the grapeseed extract. Uh, red clover blossom, it's really, really nice um, property of healing the skin. And here is the study that showed that women that were taking uh, red clover extract for 90 days, they had not only improvement in their skin and scalp hair, but also mood, sleep, tiredness. So this is you getting a really nice package there. 
And of course, fertilized avian egg extract. This is a great addition because in that, if we're talking about skin, hair, and nails, it's giving it's giving this um, first of all stem cells. You remember these baby skin cells that are waiting, the baby cells that are waiting to become something. It's really helping. The, to the stem cells to work in restoring the skin tissues and uh, hair tissues. Also, um, it's giving that protein that we need the building blocks, it's giving antioxidant, it's giving all this array of features that you need for the health. And of course, vitamin and minerals. Again, B complex. B vitamins, they're water soluble, soluble vitamins. They pretty much come and go. They, if you're not taking them every day, if you're not giving the, the body B vitamins every day, body is, body is not storing B vitamins. So, and we need it all the time, every single day. So Omnia will provide you with the right amount B vitamins that you, your body needs every single day. So you will not have the deficiencies. Vitamin D, vitamin C is a great antioxidant. Zinc, I say, again, I'm saying zinc so, so much because it's a, play a huge role in the, health, in the uh, health of hair, skin, and nails. And again, Omnia contains the needed amount of zinc. So what Omnia does, how does it work? Most of all, it's helping with this stem cell with this baby cells that they are ready they will nourish they're all these nice cheeky babies that are completely uh, ready to work are ready to build up and become a healthy skin for the uh, for healthy stem for the skin nails and hair it's giving the nutrients that the skin needs because skin is very needy uh, organ, it's need a lot of nutrients. Uh, also, so what Omnia does, it nourishes the stem uh, cells, they're ready, they're, they're good to work. It's protect against ultraviolet beams, uh, uh, against inflammation, and we saw that. And also it's giving all the nutrients to your body and it's enhanced collagen volume. And so body becoming, there, there are more collagen, the skin, you can see young skin versus old skin, the skin with more collagen. And of course, giving a lot of essential vitamins and minerals. And let's talk about Lamedern. What Lamedern, what does that contain? It's also give a lot of good nutrients to the, to the skin already from outside. So it gives the, um, fertilized egg extract, of course, that gives all these minerals and vitamins to, to the skin. CoQ10, we talk about CoQ10 in Omega-3 lecture. Please watch it if you didn't watch it. It's really awesome lecture about the health of the, of the cells that are, of course, in the skin as well. Vitamin C, vitamin E, great antioxidants and other nutrients for health of your skin. So Lamedern participated in the great clinical study that was published by Global Academy of Medical Education. So let's see what kind of study was that. It was studied with 20 women, 40 plus uh, years old. And this is very important. This is when women are really not producing any collagen and losing it like crazy. So they were using that Lamedern for four weeks and apply on the clean skin in the morning and night. And you see the great results that come out out of the just four weeks of using this product, reducing the wrinkles, lightening dark spot. And I'm sure you women after 40 dark spot is something we fight uh, tooth and nails, uh, improve elasticity. And it's just giving really this healthy, nice look of the skin that we all dreading. <laughs> So you see here in the chart, here is the, we see the reduction of the wrinkle death. And also here is the lightening of the dark spots. So the dark spots reduced by 60, almost 70%. It's a really great result. And this, this study, this product gets such a great result and it's given such a nice 
um, was so effective and so safe that it was it actually gave really nice excellency and to any kind of cosmetic serum to be published in such a magazine is pretty rare thing. So this is an awesome product that giving a great solid result that was recognized by the medical community. So the, that's why we recommend to use Omni and Lamadon together because Omni is feeding you within. It's giving this help of this inside uh, layers of the skin that we were talking about for the base, for the house, for the root. So it's feeding within where well, Lamadon feeding the skin from outside and give this protection. So it's feeding the stem cell, it's restoring this natural beauty of the of the skin. And also um, the lavender, it's penetrate the epidermis. Remember the roof, it's penetrate and feed it also from outside. So they work together like, like attacking from both sides to make sure your skin is really glowing. And of course, we have a surprise for you, a really great surprise. But before we'll talk about the surprise, I will say you, I will tell you about the best hack that I have for the skin. And it's not the best, but one of the best thing. It's LED lights. So you can see in this uh, study, uh, the LED lights were used for 30 times. There's 30 session and this woman is 46 and this woman is 51. Do you see how much collagen she got after 30 session of LED lights? So much collagen. And you see in here, this is 64 year old woman, 41 year old woman, you see how much less wrinkles she got. So LED light, there's so much research. I can just talk like hours just separately about LED light. It's great for the skin. It's a big hype and everybody in anti-age and uh, biohacking community using this LED light like crazy. The problem with the LED light, you have to really take the time out of your day and dedicate yourself to LED light and God who can do this. That's why um, Life Farm has a really nice thing as this LED mask. And I love that thing. So it's easy to use. And here it's, I have all this light. You can see it's lighting up. The best thing when you can put, you're putting it on, you can see the lights are on the top on your forehead where we definitely don't need the wrinkles and it's on the bottom. So your uh, eye side is completely open. So I was actually using this mask while writing this presentation. So you can work, you can put it on and it will not distract you from your work, from your watching TV or from um, game night from with your family they will make a lot of fun of you like my kids did but it's um it's really great thing to you so uh, it's coming in this box very nice box that will not damage this uh mask and here you will see what it's for because it has not only feature of collagen collagen is only the red light is for. So here you're turning it into the blue and that's more for acne. If you have teenager in the house, you really, really need that. And also orange that reducing the redness of the skin. Blondies like me, redness of the skin definitely need that. So that's a great stuff. I'm using it all the time. Don't forget the people who have allergy on egg, fish and soy, they shouldn't take the supplement. And um, I recommend to take uh, Omnia two capsules a day with the food because it's contains some fat soluble vitamins and with any kind of fat food, that would work. And don't forget about the whole line of Life Farm products. They're all working with their purpose and they're working great together. And let me come to all your questions and quickly answer that. And thank you so much for listening. I really, really hope you liked it. I really hope you got some information out of that. This is a great product. I completely love it. And um, it do, will do so, so much for your, for the health of your skin, nails, and hair. 
quickly uh, will send um uh i will check the question um omnia also good for your bones and joints absolutely 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 because we need collagen we losing collagen and that's also um it's it this is what the our uh, joints is made of and that's really helping with the joint and is helping with the uh, with it's reducing the inflammation, reducing the pain. So it's an antioxidant or the vitamins is definitely helping really, really much. Um, so I think that's all questions I got. If you have, Peter, if you have any other information to add and I will wait if there are any more questions, I will be happy to answer as well. Uh, okay. Since the internal organs take since our skin layers all, then it seems we have to make, we have enough vitamin, um, I'm sorry, a vitamin with excess to support. Well, no, not excess. That's one of the thing. Um, the question is that if the uh, skin, nails and hair are not that important to the body, do we need to have it in excess? That's the thing of, especially when I put the slide about the retail supplement, just in the retail store, some of them has, you can see like 2,000, 3,000. This is the, the a lot, mistake that a lot of people uh, thinking that a good thing, you need to have more. And that's not right because the body need right amount because they're not enough there is a problem, but when it's too much and excess, there is also a problem. And that's why a great right supplement, they have right, correct amount, what your body needs, not too much, not too little, just what your body needs to, to meet its uh, needed standard. Uh, excess amount of vitamins, they can also give you a problem. And I see it. I, there are some people just going the vitamin and mineral just by themselves, and they're also getting a health issue. So nothing in excess is, is, it is as bad as having a deficiency. That's why it has to be correct amount, just like what it has in Omnia. It's just correct amount, how much the body needs. And like I said, some of the vitamins, especially B vitamin, they're water soluble. They come, they immediately, uh, whatever is not used is leaving. Their body is not storing them. That's why Omni is such a great product because you always making sure you have right amount vitamins in your body with the supplement. Um, thank you for the info. We use Omnia. Uh, and it's work uh, and lamadarians work really good. Yeah, it's a great thing to help it. Like like I said, from both from inside and outside, and it's work perfect together. Uh, yeah, Peter, you and yes. To. So this was a great presentation. We really enjoyed Thank it. You. I actually took some of my own screenshots uh, to share with my family and friends because um, I know they have these same concerns with their hair, nail, and skin. So I really learned a lot tonight. I want to thank you, Yana, for your time. Um, I think we are good to go. And um, anything else, I just want to thank everyone for joining our second webinar with Yana. And please look forward to more. Um, I will be reaching out to everyone and uh, keep an eye out for emails and text messages. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you for taking time. Make sure to send the, a recording of this presentation to all your friends and family who you think will benefit from this information. And please uh, make sure you use this opportunity to get this free mask because this is this is these three products together. They will do fantastic job for your hair, skin, and nails, especially for your skin. Yes, and thank you all for joining. Like I said, you know, Luba, Robin, Irene, Armando, uh, Beverly, Tracy, we've had so many of our longtime customers on this call. We really appreciate you and your teams coming on to learn more about these healthy products for our uh, skin and our bodies. So thank you so much. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow back in the office. And I wish all of you a wonderful evening and a great end to your week. And thank you, Yana, and thank you, Jeannie. Thank you.
All right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you.